Welcome to the third of our road trip videos from Scotland. We headed on up north into Ascent. We stopped off in Ullapool for some coffee and to take in the pretty scenery before we carried on up north, up the side of Loch Ascent, where we stopped at the side of the loch to take pictures of the castle. As you can probably tell by all this wind noise, I was really struggling with the microphones on this trip, so there's going to be a fair bit of voiceover, I'm afraid. But the scenery was absolutely spectacular. Carrying on north, we came to where we were staying for the night, a lovely little campsite right on the beach at Achmelvich. So we went into Loch Inver, which is where my great-grandmother is from, for some dinner. I had a fantastic venison, while Gladys enjoyed finally her lobster. Before we made our way back to the campsite and went exploring the beach at Achmelvich. Some lovely scenes and quite a nice sunset, not particularly spectacular. There was just too much cloud on the horizon to get real colours in the sky. But it was a very pleasant walk round the beach, taking in the scenery and taking a few photographs. Like I hope you can hear me, it's a little bit windy and I haven't got the microphones out. But I uh, just stopped at a nice little spot on Loch Ascent. Uh, we're heading back down now and uh, some lovely little islands just over there. Uh, really caught my eye as I was driving past so I managed to pull in and take a couple of quick shots um, with these little islands in the loch. The trees on them, some of them dead trees, some of them still got leaf life on them. Just over here there's a nice view with a, a little boat in the way, so I'm just going to frame up a shot and quickly grab that. Unfortunately it's all handheld stuff, so no way to set this up to, to record properly, but I'll show you the scene and then I'll take the shot. So hopefully you get some idea, the, the little boat and the uh, bit of land leading out to those little islands. Let's take the shot, see how it goes. If it's any good, here it is. Carrying on south, we come to Garve, 
where there is the famous Blackwater Falls, near an ancient drovers crossing over the river. But we're here to see the falls, not the crossing. Here I take a couple of shots, almost identical. The only thing that's changed really is the shutter speed. One at a sixtieth of a second and one at a sixth of a second to show the difference in the movement of the water. carried on then back down towards the main road where Betty had a wonderful night and a lovely little campsite at Morvich. Well, Last day on our current Scotland tour, um, heading back down towards Glasgow to my mum's. And I've met up with a friend, uh, Sam, Sam Bose from Sam and Hannah Bose Photography. He's just waving in the background. I'll get Sam over in a minute. Um, we just stopped at this waterfall I found when I was up last year. And uh, I told Sam about it and we've been dying to see this waterfall in a lot of water. And there's still not quite as much water as I would like. But it is a beautiful fall, so we've stopped here for a little while. Nice to get a chance to meet up with Sam and take a shot at the waterfall. If it's any good, here it is. Uh, so, um... I always start with so um yeah, yeah, that's my yeah. Done. <laughs> yeah. so um <laughs> so Sam and I came down to uh, photograph this waterfall it's one I found last year when I was on my way up towards Sky. What do you reckon Sam? A good find? I think it's a brilliant find, yeah, really really good. It's the kind of thing that you wouldn't know about unless you happen to just kind of come across it. So yeah, thanks for letting me know about it. <laughs> oh no problem. Um what, what sort of shots have you been taking this morning with it? Um, so I've taken uh, very similar shots to you basically. The first shot was exactly where your tripod was. I basically <laughs> just copied you because you knew what you were doing. And I thought I'd just well, only because I'd been here before. Yeah. <laughs> Um, second shot, I went down just a little bit, yeah. slightly lower, which gave quite a nice. It, it was very similar, but I just felt it was a. a, a I liked having this. There's a you ever see it on the camera? There's a rock down on the right hand side with a little bit of purple heather sat on top of it. Um, and also, by going a bit lower, you're cutting out the road and the fence and things. Um, so yeah, I've taken a couple of those, and I've, I, what I'm quite tempted to do is a close-up shot of the waterfall. And normally, I'd probably do that with the. Uh, my 200mm lens to zoom in right, right in on it. Um, as there's so many midges around, I don't feel like changing lenses at the moment. No, you get all midges all, all on the sensor. So I thought I'll try doing it for 105 <laughs> Yeah. And move, I'll zoom with my feet. Yeah. Well, I'd just taken one as, as well, sort of looking down a little bit more with a 10 stop on so I can get a 30 second exposure. Maybe get some trails little swirly trails and these bubbles yeah. that are just at the bottom of the waterfall yeah. I hope that came out yeah. um, 
Right, so I'll let you get in and take your close up. So while we were concentrating on the waterfall, Sam spotted this lovely lone tree behind us. So we quickly turned the cameras round, moved that way. There was an incoming storm. Uh, there was quite a lot of heavy rain beyond the area we were shooting in. And here's Sam's shot, first of all. And I've got to say, I absolutely love what he's done with this rain in the background there. He's managed to get contrast into it that I just didn't somehow capture. <laughs> 